Gus Edwards possibly just suffered a season-ending injury. What to do now in fantasy football? I make new content like this every single day, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And this is this sucks. I mean, especially for Gus Edwards, but and even for Baltimore Ravens fans, you have J.K. Dobbins get hurt, then Justice Hill, now Gus Edwards, and you also have Marcus Peters who possibly suffered a season-ending injury. This is terrible, and I wish these guys the best of luck, and hopefully the results come back that they didn't suffer these season-ending injuries. It, this is just terrible. For a possible contender in, Buff or in Baltimore that's losing players, this sucks. Injuries are the worst thing in sports. They're, they're terrible. So now what to do in fantasy football? Well, number one, Tyson Williams needs to be rostered in every single league. I don't care if you're in a six-man league, eight-man league, he needs to be rostered. Le'Veon Bell now needs to be rostered in every single league. They also, I believe the other person on their uh, roster is Trenton Cannon. Cannon. He's a more of a special teams player. He now comes on the radar. This team will probably sign another guy. A guy that makes sense would be Latavius Murray, possibly if they sign him. So this is really unfortunate. And for fantasy football, this is the worst part is when you have to deal with these injuries and then talk about possibilities of other guys. But Tyson Williams would be the first guy. And a lot of people say, how would an undrafted free agent have the first crack at it? Let's think about a couple things. Number one, Austin Eckler's undrafted free agent. Number two, Last year, you have James Robinson was an undrafted free agent. So just because there's undrafted free agents doesn't mean that these guys don't be relevant. Antonio Brown was a six-round draft pick. He He's done better in his career than a first-round draft pick in Brashad Perryman, right? Like, just because a guy's draft pick is, or he doesn't get drafted doesn't mean he's not going to be relevant in football is ludicrous. Tyson Williams will get the first crack at this backfield with Le'Veon Bell. If Tyson Williams isn't able to do this, then it's going to be Le'Veon Bell, and he's going to be the back for this team. Right now, who I would want first is Tyson Williams along next to Le'Veon Bell. Uh, Cannon should be on your roster or should be on your radar. Possibly I would pick him up at this rate. I would pick him up in your deeper leagues like 16, 18-team league, 20-team leagues. Definitely pick him up because now he's going to be in discussion, uh, have a small role possibly on this offense, but... This is just terrible news. So if you have any other questions, drop it down below. I'll answer any questions you have. Thank you for watching and have a great day.